in this video, I want to see how we can find the derivative using a chain rule. Okay, uh, the question that we want to solve is uh, find the derivative of the function y is equal to in of x squared plus uh, 5x. So if you are given a function like this one, you can see we have the function in, and then within that function, we have this function. So we are going to use what you call chain rule. Okay, it's uh, pretty simple to do it, but uh, there is one tactic that you need to do. The first thing that you need to do is to put this function as u. You let this be u. So I'll say let uh, x squared plus 5x be u. So now my function becomes y is equal to in uh, u. Okay. Now, once you let this be u, what you're going to do is to write the chain, chain rule. So chain rule states that uh, the gradient function, because when they tell you the derivative, they are telling you to say differentiate or find the gradient function, okay, or find the gradient, something like that. So uh, for us to find the derivative, we are going to use chain rule because we have a function and another function there, okay. In is a function in its own, it's an Eperian logarithm, okay, or the natural logarithm, or log in base e. So now, if this is a function and that is a function, we have to use what we call chain rule. So chain rule states that the gradient function, which is dy over dx, is equal to uh, dy over du multiplied by du over dx. So that this can simplify with remain with uh, dy over dx. Now, what is the meaning? The meaning is we are going to differentiate this one with respect to u, then we differentiate u with respect to x, then we multiply. In other words, we have to differentiate in, we differentiate in of this, again multiplied by the derivative or differentiation of the same function which is inside here. So what I'm uh, saying is we have to differentiate in then we differentiate the function u so the derivative of this one we differentiate then multiply by the derivative of u now we have y is equal to in u so we are going to find dy over du so dy over du of this one it will be dy over du is equal to when you differentiate in it's the same as one over the function that you are differentiating okay but we know the value for you the value for you is this one so this would be this would be one over x squared plus five x now the next thing that we need to do is to differentiate u with respect to x now we know that u is this one okay so we'll say du over dx is equal to so i'll differentiate this one plus the differentiation of this one again it's the same thing which we call uh, chain rule you differentiate this one you differentiate the next uh, function like that so the derivative of this one is the power multiplied by the coefficient, then reduce the power by 1. So the power here is 2, the coefficient is 1. So it will be 2 multiplied by 1, we get 2. Then x, which is to the power 2, reduces by 1. Then plus, okay, the power here is 1. 1 multiplied by 5, we get 5. Then x to the power, the power there is 1 reduce the power by 1. We are going to have 2. 2 minus 1, we get x to the power 1. This is x to the power 1 plus uh, 5 x, uh, 1 minus 1, we get 0. x to the power 0, we get 1. 1 multiplied by 5, we get 5. So this is the derivative of u with respect to x. Now the next thing that we need to do is to follow the formula 
we get this one, we multiply with uh, this one. So I'll get d, dy over du. So dy over du is, so dy over dx will be equal to uh, 1 over x squared uh, plus 5x multiplied by this one, x plus 5. Now, when we multiply this, I'll come here. When we multiply this, we are going to have this. We are going to have this. When we try to multiply, this will be the same as over 1. So 1 will multiply with this, and this will multiply with that. What we are going to have is dy over dx is equal to 2x plus 5 over x squared plus 5x and this will be the gradient function of this function or this function. So the first thing that you need to do if you are taught to find the derivative of this one, you differentiate the first function which will be 1 over this whole thing. Then multiply it by the derivative of what is inside. Or alternatively you can use this particular formula here. It's one and the same thing. So for this and more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.